Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of October 21st through the 27th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, sorry, Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So feels like there is, um, it's, I feel like there's an interesting balance in your energy. It's kind of like at, at the forefront, you could be going through something stressful um, here with the Ten of Swords, but I feel like your attitude and the way that you're navigating and the way that you're sort of taking everything is really positive. And I feel like this week things are changing for the better. It's like if right now you're going through it and things feel like they're not, you know, going according to plan. Um, I feel like this week something really positive is going to happen. It's going to sort of change the course of the way things are going. It's basically going to fill you with a lot more hope and maybe things that are going to be restored to some sort of a balance, something that you're comfortable with, right? Because at the bottom of the deck here, we have the Nine of Cups, then the seven of wands then the eight of swords then the five of swords then the nine of wands so it's like you're you're kind of fighting through something here i don't know if it's internal yet i don't know if it's you know external like maybe you're you're kind of going at it with somebody else but it feels like there's something that's making you feel defeated in a sense and you know obviously that is not the optimal situation to be in but i feel like the universe wants to just emphasize that it is not a permanent situation right it is temporary and it is slowly getting better so six of pentacles maybe this is with relation to your career your job maybe there's somebody in your life right now that you feel is taking more than they're giving back right maybe with that knight of pentacles slowly but surely you're getting close to finding some sort of a solution maybe this is about you getting close to an opportunity that will allow you to you know somehow recover from whatever it is that you feel that you've lost from this situation but overall with that four of wands things are getting better it's like you're gonna you're gonna receive somewhat of a worthy um offer opportunity it's like something that that is worth celebrating basically with that four of wands so let's first go ahead and clarify the ten of swords Empress, which is divine feminine energy, maternal energy, Venus energy, that's Taurus, Libra, right? But it could be any energy if you think about it, any divine feminine, basically. Uh, maybe that Empress represents somebody that is on your mind, somebody that you are connecting to. Maybe this is yourself, right? But we do have the Three of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Lovers, which is Gemini. I kind of feel like with the Ten of Swords, what is making you feel this way, defeated or just low or maybe even betrayed, right? Because we, we're seeing all of these swords literally stabbed in this person's back. Maybe you feel as though there was something unfair. And it's interesting because as I was shuffling for the, the clarification for the Ten of Swords, I kind of heard, you know, you deserve better than that. So um, it's it's kind of like you may have gone through a situation where maybe there was a lack of communication, a lack of understanding. Maybe somebody just kind of didn't explain themselves. And now they're leaving you to sort of understand exactly what it is that happened. Maybe this was within a romantic situation here with the lovers. But yeah, it feels like it was unfair. Um, feels like somebody didn't provide you with closure or a proper explanation. Maybe they've, let, they've left you heartbroken in a sense. Or maybe there was even a third party, right? There's all kinds of ways that we can interpret this. But I just feel that you genuinely are not okay with the way things went down. And maybe this is about you getting some sort of um, closure this week or an explanation. Um, let's see. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. We have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy. And for the Six of Pentacles, we have Queen of Pentacles, Strength, which is you, and the Six of Wands. So again, it's like there's this sort of interesting balance between things are rough right now, but just to know, Leo, that things are getting better, things are working in your favor. I feel like that Six of Wands confirms there is a success here. There's a success story in this situation, right? Even with this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like maybe there is a mix-up in terms of how somebody um, has been portraying themselves versus how they really feel kind of like somebody has been using maybe something as an excuse 
in a way to make up for whatever they did. I don't know. We're going to clarify that Queen of Pentacles. But behind the Magician is the Two of Cups and the Three of Wands. So to me, this kind of feels like there's definitely something that's going to expand, move forward, and continue to develop between you and another person. But let's clarify that Queen of Pentacles. All right, and again, we have the Two of Cups. So there's like this repeating theme. It's like this is between you and them. This is between you and a person here. Uh, we have the Magician again, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. Kind of feels like with the uh, Knight of Swords, there was maybe like an impulsive sort of action there. Like somebody did something without really thinking. I feel like that could have been where things maybe took a different turn. I do feel though with that Page of Swords that someone is going to almost like clear their chest like they're going to say exactly what it is that happened and I feel like that's because they're manifesting the change they're manifesting for things to be different or you could be manifesting different right this this could be a vice versa type of situation but I just kind of feel like the universe is saying things are not as bad as you think they are or they're not going to be as bad as they are right now so it's a matter of just waiting for time to pass and for this opportunity to arise because I just kind of feel like you have to let this happen naturally or the the Basically, this person is waiting for the opportunity to explain themselves. Um, let's see. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. King of Swords. So maybe somebody here is also trying to navigate another situation at the same time that this is going on. Right? So it feels like maybe somebody was um, caught between their professional or their responsi responsibilities, right? Or professional life responsibilities. And then there was this connection. It kind of feels like somebody lost control of that or they didn't know how to handle it. Behind the King of Swords is the Tower and the Eight of Pentacles. So it kind of feels like somebody was just sort of hit by, by life, right? With that Tower moment. Eight of Pentacles, it's like they had to focus on this one thing. They had to prioritize this. Maybe they put the relationship or the connection by the wayside, right? We have the Six of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Emperor, which is Aries. It's almost like somebody was maybe kind of going in this direction where they were maybe put in a position or forced to, to really focus on work, right? It's like, I, I don't really know how else to say it, but I feel like somebody was just in a really difficult spot. Right, But with that Six of Cups, I feel like this is them still thinking about the connection, just not maybe being as present as they would like to be. So again, it's like the difference between the way that somebody is acting versus how they really feel. I think that this week you're getting a tremendous amount of clarity on that from this person directly. So really, really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.